Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Avatar The Last Airbender Book 2 Episode number 1 and 2. Alright, uh, the previous episode was the final episode of Season 1 or Book 1 and it was like definitely it was one of my most favorite episodes of the series of like you know of the entirety of season one they did an amazing job to conclude it in such an amazing way like it's literally the best episode of the whole season and it's perfect that it's the final two episodes that were so damn good and it's like it's like ending a season in a like you know really great way and that was like perfectly done there was a lot of things that happened and you know like we kind of won our battle against the fire nation and we had a little bit of uh you know scuffle with like you know uh what's his name zuko and uh zao they had a little bit of a battle and by the end of it zao I'm guessing Zhao died most probably we're probably not going to see him again and I'm guessing in place of Zhao this uh, season we're going to see um, Zuko's sister who kind of seems to be like the antagonist for this season I'm not completely sure but by the way it ended the previous season I think that's probably the case here so yeah, and uh, a lot of things happened and uh, by the end of it now Aang will I'm guessing go start going to the Earth Nation and he has still not perfected waterbending but Katara has so Katara is going to teach him on while on the way and I think that's a great way to save time because they really don't have enough time for like you know them to actually like master the whole thing uh, and take time with it. So yeah, like on the way he's going to learn water bending, and by the time I'm I'm guessing they reach fire, uh, Earth Nation, they're probably like you know Ang is probably going to be master at water bending or something like that, or maybe he's going to learn both earth bending and water bending at the same time. I'm not sure, but we're probably going to see. So yeah, and Princess Yue had to sacrifice herself as well. That was another sad portion and uh, yeah that was the previous episode uh, so let's get started this is book number two i'm really excited to see what like you know how this goes and uh, how everything like you know moves forward and what prince zuko is going to do because he and like you know Iro is probably yeah they're, they're probably going to be killed on sight if the fire nation people see them because technically they betrayed uh, the fire lord so who knows let's see so yeah um i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer over here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started with this video all right so this is episode number one uh here's the countdown three two one go <coughs> all right and the earth nation is a lot closer to the north water tribe i'm guessing it's going to take a lot less time that than it actually took in season one for them to reach earth nation let's see mm -hmm. Excuse me. All right, I should take my headphones off because oh no, there's no previously. Okay, that's good. The after state. Oh, what is this? Some kind of dream? Oh. Oh yeah, that 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 bit. wow is this some kind of confronting yourself stuff that usually happens another thing what was this damn oh are they still in the north water tribe or oh no they're on ship okay Hmm. 
Yeah. Now he understands what the other felt when, you know, others. Oh. Okay. Nice. True. <laughs> And <laughs> nothing for him. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh no. Bong. Oh, Boom is going to train him. Oh, nice. Okay, I should have expected that. Whoa, this looks so cool. Like. Uh. <laughs> and and this oh but now he is being Um, what? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Probably not something that you should say to a person who is sad, you know? <laughs> okay. I kind of understand what Iro was trying to say, but still, it was the wrong way to actually, <laughs> you know, present it. Oh, who is this? Oh, it's the sister. I, I don't know her name. What's her name? Oh boy. Hmm. Damn, this lady is... Oh. Technically it does, I guess, but... Um, no. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> oh, oh, wow. What an argument. Nice. Okay. Okay, that's the... What was the name? I forgot. <laughs> General Fong, okay. Um... Oh, okay. Damn, it's like a... Celebration. <laughs> They're ready for every... Like... <laughs> for Ang. Hmm. Okay. What? No. Yeah, what? What is even? No, he... What, what's up with this guy? Oh god, this guy... Oh great, okay, I, I, I can understand how he thinks of Aang now. <sighs> well, he doesn't care. Oh great.
Yeah, what is wrong with him? Oh my god. Oh. Oh god. Well, he's a kid. You're putting all your responsibility on what is... Oh my god. I can understand where he's coming from, but what he's saying as a solution does not make sense. Ah. Oh, whoa. What is that? Lightning? Wait, what? La... What? Whoa, she can command lightning? Is, is that a, a part of the firebending thing or something? Oh great, he's good. Wow. Like, this is basically like emotionally manipulating him in a way. I understand where Fong is coming from, but that's no reason why you should all put your responsibility on a kid. Even if he's an avatar. Oh god. Oh, come on, yeah. Oh no, this is not being realistic. Oh god. <sighs> yeah, and, and he might blow you all up. Like, that might happen. No. Wow, he, he just fast forwarded. <laughs> yeah, that's one way. What? <laughs> um. Okay. Oh, damn. Hmm. Oh! No. Oh, no, he's sneezing. He's going to blow the whole place up. Oh, great. <laughs> yeah. I don't think so. <laughs> he's, he's having a vacation here. Oh boy. Oh wow, she's here. Zuzu? Zuzu, okay. Damn. Oh no. Damn, family. Is this some kind of trick? I, I, I'm thinking, most probably. No. Oh God! What the hell? Don't trust her, please. Hmm. <clears> hmm. <throat>
<sighs> oh boy, no. Yeah, it is. So she's basically trying to lure her in Azula, that's her name. No. <laughs> yeah. Oh god. Come on. Ah. Whoa! Damn! Why is he having these dreams suddenly, like for a few days? Okay. <laughs> what? I think so. Yeah, he'll be pissed. Oh my god. Ugh. No, he's just going with you to keep you safe, you know. This is obviously Azula's trick because I think she's just trying to lure lure Zuko in and say that yeah, I've caught him or something. I don't know. Yeah. Come on, don't tell him that. Oh, great. Oh. There you go. Well, I knew that. Yeah. Great. Whoa! Damn, that's some impressive art bending. Whoa! Damn. Whoa, yeah. Oh, nice. Oh, Katara is not here. I forgot. She did not come. Or, or did she? Whoa! <laughs> wow! As soon as he gets in, I'm sure they're going to capture him or something. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm sure about it. Stupid. Oh, come on, let's go. Nice. Oh, God. 
Wow, the transition. Oh, oh my god. Katara, come on. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Come on. Katara. Nice. Bird horse thingy? Alright, let's go bird horse thingy. Oh god. Oh my god, I think this is probably going to force him. Or maybe not. Whoa, it's like he he made it into mud. God, yeah, Earth will be a lot more advantageous against wind. Oh! God damn, what's... Oh. Oh my... Oh no, yeah, he's going to... Oh boy, he's going to go for your throat. Stupid man. He's going to blow this place up completely. God. Yeah, yeah, don't, no need to mess with her. Like, just leave her alone. Oh, God. Whoa. Oh, boy. Wow, that's, that's a cool new thing, you know, he's doing. Oh, wait, she has a whip? No. Damn. He's she's skillful. Whoa, light again lightning. There it is. Oh! Oh! Whoa! Wait, did he just like take it in and Directed into some other direction? No. Shut up. Oh, this guy is. Yeah. A big mistake. This place is going to be completely demolished. Oh no, he, he... Oh my god, he's out of control. Okay. Defense mechanism, okay. All the past avatars. Whoa! Okay, so that's what it is. Wow, look at the power. Vulnerable. Oh no. Oh no. All right, he's back. Okay, at least he got some information out of it, I guess. Still, this is no way to actually... He, he's drunk completely. Yeah. 
No, we'll be fine on our own. God, like, like, uh, yeah, like three of three of us are fine. God, yeah, they they truly are like you know convicts now. Oh, what is that? Oh, wait, what? Wait, does that designate? Oh, I think like that that probably denotes them being person from the Fire Nation or something. I'm not sure. But that ponytail, uh, not ponytail, what, what do you call that? Um, yeah, the ponytail. Okay, that's the end. Yeah, okay, so this was episode one. Okay, so let me know. Um, I'm guessing that that uh, ponytail thing that they cut off, I'm guessing that kind of um, is a symbol for them belonging to the Fire Nation or something. Now that they are basically, like, you know, people are against them and uh, what, what do you call them? They're basically convicts. They cut it off to show their, what do you call it? intention of yeah we are not any way in any way affiliated with the fire nation or something like that i'm not sure i might be wrong so please let me know if i'm wrong but yeah all right so all right that was episode one uh a fantastic start that was a really good episode and i have to like you know like uh i, I can understand like people said that this gets better and better as episodes go on i can feel that like you know the like the episodes are getting very interesting as like you know the time goes on as the episodes like you know we continue to watch the show and damn this is really some like you know good stuff i'm really like glad that i picked this uh you know like show to react to but yeah anyways okay so this episode's first episode um <clears throat> now obviously uh his name was fong wasn't it fong like in a way i'm sure he has faced something in his past i'm sure about it you know but the way he was acting was not normal i'm sure he had seen some bad stuff in his past maybe like you know saw people die and like you know felt helpless that's why like you know he is so what do you call it um, focused on yeah we need to get and kill the fire lord as soon as possible to stop this war we need to defeat him and no time uh, to waste all these kind of things like you know he is so you know hell bent on going and getting that uh what do you call it mm, result as soon as possible and as as soon as he saw that yeah we have a chance here because after is here and because uh the uh, after state is so strong that uh you can basically like you know destroy everything he <coughs> He uh, became so obsessed with making Aang, like, you know, uh, go and, like, you know, get into that form and defeat the uh, Fire Lord as soon as possible. Now, as I said, like, you know, he must have had something in his past, some kind of sad past or something. That's why he is so obsessed with it. But, but we should also keep in mind here that Aang is, is, is a child and what we are doing here is basically forcing up you know forcing all our uh what do you call them all our expectations on him on a child now i get it like he is the avatar he is supposed to save the world but that does not mean that you treat him as a mere weapon and just say that oh like yeah you're here you should like you know fulfill your role you should defeat the fire lord as soon as possible doing whatever the hell like you know sacrifice you have to uh, we have to make we'll do it and yeah you'll defeat the file like they're they're basically like using him as a weapon that's they were what they were trying to do here so that's no way of actually doing this and first of all like as i said like i, I understand that he's hurrying because of all the loss of life that's happening here but this is no way to actually fight a war you know like what would like they, they what would have they do like they would go and attack the fire lord maybe ang would be able to go into his avatar state but i doubt he would be able to do anything because 
even though he like, you know he controls like you know he he is very strong in that form i doubt it's possible for him to defeat um the phylot in that state without having any what do you call it like you know without mastering the actual elements it's basically like like you know he is going into a state where he's very strong but at the same time like you know uh, like he his body knows nothing like he has not mastered the uh, you know elements like there's there's a step like everything is done step by step like you cannot jump from step 1 to step 10 just because it, it 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 is convenient no you cannot do that so what they would have done is they would have basically gotten themselves skilled if they went and tried to defeat the fire lord because i i can probably feel it the fire lord is supposed to be pretty damn strong and uh, yeah like this is no joke so like it, it's foolishness completely like they would have lost ang and they would have been doomed like what what would they do like wait for a few years like you know few hundred years for another avatar to come by that time like everything would be, like everyone would be gone you know like who knows what uh, the fire lord would do who knows who would succeed him and then like you know like like he would rule the whole world at that moment like this is no way to actually do something like skipping steps and trying to rush through the whole process but yeah as i said like you know he was emotional uh general fong i think commander fong and that probably kind of made him completely go crazy as you know he was like basically acting in the end like a madman he was like oh yeah we did it like you know uh like yeah we will have to like you know control this state and then we'll do this we'll do that and ugh, all those stuff like no <laughs> his his uh like you know the people who are under under him all his soldiers were also <laughs> freaked out they were you know when saga kind of bashed him on his head and kind of looked at them they were like okay like like we didn't see anything <laughs> you're all fine just go <laughs> oh god but yeah that was kind of like you know like i, I felt really bad for ang in a way because like you know they were basically trying to like you know treating him like a non living object a weapon a tool and that's one thing that really you know uh made me sad about him because he he's just a kid and like this is no way to treat someone even if he's an avatar or he's so strong like, there's no way to treat a human being but yeah anyways okay that's the thing uh, like that was the uh, angst portion there's obviously another portion here which was um zuko's portion where Azula, I think that was her name. Yeah. Um, okay. One thing that was that was lightning, wasn't it? So I'm guessing a lightning is also kind of like a branch of fire bending, just like um, Katara can use healing, which is also a branch of water bending, something like that. And she can even use ice. So I'm guessing lightning is kind of related to fire in a way. So that's why I'm not sure, but most probably. So yeah. Anyways, okay. So Azula and she, like you know they. Now, I'm not really sure what she was trying to do, like why even go in this way because they could have just went and, oh, I'm, I'm guessing like she was a little bit, uh, uh, you know, wary of command, like, you know, general hero, I think. Yeah, most probably that was the reason why he was like, you know, she consulted to these type of, um, like, you know, uh, trickery because I'm guessing like if they went full force and like you know without like doing stuff like this if they just went in head straight i'm guessing they would have all been defeated because we saw how how ido was he he's he's too strong so i'm guessing that's why he tried to do it in this way i'm not sure but it was a weird way to actually like you know lure them lure him to the ship and then suddenly like i, I could have understood if if they like you know took them and uh oh oh okay, okay. Uh, I'm guessing the initial plan was to actually do that. I was thinking like why the hell did they uh, reveal that on the ship but it was actually a mistake by that guy. So yeah okay I'm, I'm guessing like their original um, goal like Azula's original goal was to get on ship take them to the fire you know in front of the fire lord and then say that yeah you're our prisoners or something like that. <laughs> that guy messed up <laughs> because they, he was like 
oh like you know prisoners and something <laughs> and he was like oh my god i messed up completely <laughs> okay yeah I, I think that was probably the record yeah I, like you know I, I for a moment there i've kind of forgot that it was like a mistake done by that guy which kind of made this whole situation Otherwise, they would have probably taken them to the fire lord and then like revealed that yeah, you are actually our prisoners. Uh, father doesn't want you back. So yeah, that was like what that what they're trying to do. And I'm guessing most probably she tried to do it in that way because Ido was there. And yeah, she she did not like definitely did not underestimate Ido because we saw what he was able, capable of doing. He just like you know <laughs> he just cleaned the whole place. <laughs> Like Zuko and like Zuko was kind of getting defeated, but in came Iro, Iro and completely like you know, <laughs> defeated Azula in like a matter of seconds. Like damn, that was an impressive move that he did. Like you know he uh, kind of what did he do? Just a sec. Um. All right. Okay. Uh, Zuko is fighting with her and. <coughs> Azula, you know, counters Zuko and uses lightning. Just a sec. All right, uh, she shoots lightning at Zuko. All right, Iro grabs her hand. Okay, so what he basically did—he like absorb the lightning? I think that's what he did. Like, you know, he kind of absorbed the lightning, caught his or caught her hand, and you know, used the lightning and directed it somewhere else. Like, damn, that was like an impressive counter move. Like, you know, like you, like, you can use that on like your enemies. For example, if, if some of your enemy is like using some kind of strong technique against you, you do that completely turn like you know, th uh, <laughs> like turn 360 and then blast it at your enemy. Damn, like tasting like you know, giving a taste of your own medicine basically <laughs> but yeah that was really impressive and another thing we got to know here like in a way uh i'm guessing like ang kind of benefited in a little like you know way because he kind of got a few more information and i actually understood what the hell the after state actually is so it's basically like the accumulation of each and every life their skills and everything and into his body and at that moment, he is the most vulnerable because if, if, if he dies at that moment, the reincarnation will break and he'll basically die. Like, you know, he won't come back again. And that's very scary. So, yeah. And, uh, but, but still, this was no way for, like, you know, him to actually realize that. Like, they, they basically, like, forcefully did this to him. And even though we got a little bit of information out of it, I'm sure they could have gotten it in some different way, not like this, you know. But yeah, but they very much know now like what to do and what not to do. Like do not try to get forceful into the Avatar state. Master your techniques and then like, you know, if if if, if it, is re it is really needed, only then, like, you know, in, in very dangerous situations. So, yeah. All right. Okay, was there anything else? Let's see. Oh, and in the end, as, as we saw, like, you know, um, Zuko and Iro cut off their hair. And they also know now that, like, you know, the dad is actually out for them, trying to capture them. I'm wondering what they're going to do now, you know? So I'm sure we'll get in the, know in the next episode. And, uh, yeah. So that was this episode. I'm going to start the next episode. So yeah, like basically, uh, Fong obviously, as I said, like you know, Fong must have had something in his past, but this is definitely not a way to actually do this. You need to follow the steps and actually win the war in a proper, efficient manner, not like rush into the whole situation. It's going to, uh, like, you know, it's going to backfire on you. That and also the whole thing with uh, Azula, Zuko, and Iro. And yeah, so I'm guessing in the next episode, we're going to see them go to Bhumi. And oh, one thing I was really impressed with is like the, the, the little portions that they showed us of like, you know, the his past selves kind of using uh, the fire, the mastered power 
you know, it was really impressive. Like, like you know, the f- air bending was like, like you know, all the trees were like moving in the same direction. It was so strong. The like, you know, water bending is like in the fire bending is like all the volcanoes were erupting. Damn, that was really impressive. And uh, yeah. So yeah, like we're again back to three people. No, four people, five people if you <laughs> include Momo and um, uh, Appa. So yeah that was it then okay let me start second episode just a sec um <clears throat> all right so this is episode number two or book two of after the last airbender so i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer over here sync it to whichever is a preference and let's get started all right so here's the countdown three Two, one. Hmm. Damn, the subtitles are kind of messed up in this one. Uh, I'm going to... My god, it's too loud. Just a sec. Okay, take this off. I, I think like, you know, there'll be like spoilers over here. Someone told me, so I'm usually not trying to look at the previously thing that they do. Hmm. All right. Okay, the cave of two lovers. What? Oh, the, the training. <laughs> what? Octopus form. Oh my god, the subtitles is really messed up. Oh god. <laughs> All right. Woo! Oh, that's Octopus Farm. Nice. Oh! Wow. Impressive. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. Wait, what's that? What's with this song? <laughs> River people. <laughs> Damn, he has a, like an accent. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we're bros. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, what? Wait, what is that? It's a weird tree? <laughs> he is perfectly at home here. Oh, what's... He, he grew here? What? Dragon bush. <laughs> Which is fun. <laughs> oh god. Why don't you just try it out, you know? <laughs> don't do that. Oh, wow, nice. Hmm. 
Und das war mit der Axt, das war der Axt. Nee. <lacht> no sidetrack. <lacht> Not the rainbow. <lacht> wow. Oh, damn. <lacht> <laughs> okay. Okay. Real legend. Oh. <laughs> Saka's not impressed. Nice. Uh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow, that's good. Nice. <laughs> Yeah, okay. Oh boy, what's happening here? Oh! <laughs> yeah, it's the most comfortable. <laughs> Alright, let's go. <laughs> Did he? Oh. Oh my god. Oh. Wait, what? Oh. Okay, that's good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And also the water. They'll definitely have them killed. I'm, yeah, that. Yeah, let's go. Whoa, that's dedication. <laughs> uh, let's go. Curse? What? <laughs> yeah. The ghost says I don't know. Oh. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh nice. Let's hear it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's... Let's go. I don't think the financials have that, so... I guess... <laughs> okay. Yeah, the financials definitely don't have love within them, so... Whoa! What's wrong with him? Oh, underground, okay. Yes. Oh my god. Hmm. Damn, they're destroying this place. What the hell? Oh god, it's dark now. Yeah, I can't. Mm. 
Okay. Ten hours. What? The? Yeah. <laughs> You need love, you know? That's the biggest thing here. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> <Oops. laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Mushi. Mushi. Lee Jr. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Rose Duck. <laughs> Oh god. The curse, remember the curse? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, definitely. Oh god. <coughs> okay. <laughs> Oh my god. Kazuko. Okay. Ah. <sighs> Wait, didn't you have love with you? So... Whoa. Momo. What? What is that? Back? Will back? What the hell? God. Oh no. Appa. Calm down. Oh my god. Oh no. Okay. Okay. Oh no. Wow, they're separated completely now. Okay. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> God. Yeah, and you have Momo as well, so... Oh, she's thinking that's... Oh, I mean, technically it is, kind of, but still. Oh. Oh boy. Oh. Okay. Appa, help, please. We need your strength here.
Did it work? I think so. Damn. Strong boy, Appa. I don't even know if it's a boy or a girl. Anyways. Oh. Hmm. Okay. Meta. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Oh, first Earthbenders. Oh, is this a la okay? Oh no. Oh no. Oh. Oh boy. Oh, oh my. Okay. Oh wow, it's like a What? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Maybe it doesn't work, who knows? What? Love is friend. Oh, so. Oh, no. Wait, what? Hmm. <laughs> ah! Oh, no. Oh! Kang! What? No! That's, that's not working any better! Oh my god! Uh, oh no! <laughs> uh, god! <laughs> Thank you for the duck. <laughs> Junior. Oh boy. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Uh. <sighs> well. 
Wait, did she realize that he was? Mm. Okay. Whoa. Wait. The day. Um. What's that noise? Whoa! It's an army of them. God. <laughs> oh no oh great i wonder what what is that is that is that a beef Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh my god. The way he screamed. Oh, okay. Come on, play a song. <laughs> hey. Nice. <laughs> oh okay that's why like they said it shines the brightest in the dark okay yeah just apo uh, apologize you know okay <laughs> Appa's so happy. <laughs> okay. And there they are. <laughs> well, there you go. Love. You know? Love. There you go. Oh, damn. Uh, what, what are they talking about? <laughs> they're, they're sharing their experiences, nice. What? Oh my god, this guy. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, this guy's so funny. <laughs> oh. Oh, are they really here? Oh no, the Fire Nation! Oh, they captured it! Oh my god, I realized that a little bit late. The flag is... oh god. All right, that was it. Um, that was episode number two, book two of Avatar The Last Airbender. Uh, it's like a funny episode, you know. Um, <clears throat> and 
Yeah, it, it, it was a really funny episode. I really like these guys. These guys were kind of like a <laughs> weird, but still, like you know, they were kind of funny. And uh, <clears throat> here, it, it we had a little moment here with Ang and Katara, and uh, obviously, like you know, Zuko and uh, Iro also had like another experience. Now, thing with Zuko and Iro, like you know, they're part of the story here. Now, like I like you know like. I'm I'm guessing like you know are hearing some everything from the girl Zuko <coughs> realized that um what like you know what they have been doing for so long you know like they like when her, the when the daughter uh, when the girl said that my father went like you know to fight and like all these things like I have been hurt by the Fire Nation and like he <coughs> yeah, and like I I lost my father as well obviously like zuko zuko has not lost his father but still in a way he kind of has lost his father and he can like you know understand the thing that she is feeling and the fact that the thing that she's feeling she, he knows what it feels like and at the same time he actually realizes that the reason why she's feeling that is actually because of them the fire nation i think that is probably going to probably impacted him in a huge way because usually like you know when someone tells something about their experience most of us who have not had that same experience kind of sympathize and say that yeah okay like yeah i get it you know we kind of comfort them but it still does not affect us because that experience we have not we have not faced but for people who for example here like you know a loss of a loved one like you know if if you also have lost a loved one and someone else kind of says like you know their story of how they lost their loved one or something you will be able to <clears throat> you know relate to that in a huge way like you know with a lot of emotions and you know you, you can probably feel the other person's uh what do you call it other person's <coughs> sadness because you yourself have felt that sadness once so it's it's really different in that way so actually realizing the sadness that the girl feels because he like you know Zuko also has felt the same amount of sadness before and actually realizing that 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 sadness is because of them the fire nation yeah it is bound to affect him in quite a way and like you know like these episodes are giving me a feeling that soon soon Zuko will probably turn you know against the fire nation and he's probably going to fight against them or something i'm not sure but everything is kind of giving me that feeling you know like even like like now they're like also like you know being hunted down by the fire nation like where would they even go so there's like only one way i can see everything working out every very like you know well is zuko fighting against against his father and like you know really betraying him in a way because they are like you know like giving the false kind of a thing on them and saying that oh like he betrayed us so yeah like now there's this like only one way to tackle the situation that's actually betraying them <clears throat> and obviously like the things that the fine nation are doing are not something that you should do so sooner or later i'm guessing he's going to deflect and who knows maybe he'll join ang and fight with us as you know as our team member or something i don't know but yeah uh, okay oh another thing uh, so a, a few amount of time has actually passed from the previous episode because uh, zuko has grown a little hair so usually like you know hair does not grow overnight so i'm guessing like, you know a little bit of time passed and that means like all this time he used to like you know i'm guessing like every one or two days he used to shave his head and now that he's not a fine nation person, I'm guessing that's why he's keeping his hair. Um, yeah, it's kind of growing. Excuse me. <clears throat> All right. Okay. One thing I really did not was unable to actually not understand, but who knows if there's like some kind of hidden meaning behind that, that girl. Like, you know, like, she, she was kind of peeking at them in the end, like, you know, when they stole the, what was that, the thing, 
the horse thing and she kind of was like peeking and then went back home uh, inside his her room now did she actually realize that they were somehow related to the fire nation was that the reason why she did something like that or i'm not sure what that was, was some kind of you know hidden meaning or something uh who knows maybe we'll get to going to get some clarification in the future episodes but yeah that was the whole thing with zuko and ido and now uh, for ang and like you know the angst team <coughs> now obviously this whole episode was kind of like a hard light-hearted you know like it's like the story of their journey to the earth kingdom uh and now okay just a sec these people uh <laughs> they're really funny you know in a, in a way that just kind of cracked me up in a lot of ways and i'm guessing like you know the, 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 they were they had an accent like that because they were traveling the world and they, they, they had a uh like you know a different accent the way they talked but still like you know they like, you know they, they're hilarious especially the, the main guy <laughs> oh my god it's funny like in the end he was like oh you know what i think i i i i think i i, I figured something out ang is the uh, avatar <laughs> saka is like face farming <laughs> oh my god <laughs> okay that was that was hilarious anyways okay yeah and uh, obviously this episode here um the whole like you know legend the lover's legend and all that stuff it was, it was literally the the thing that the legend said that love shines the brightest when you know like it, it's dark and that's what it basically means like you had to make the place dark for the the crystals to light up <laughs> and it's going to show you the way and uh, interesting and uh like usually I'm, I'm guessing like you know people's first uh thing when you get into that labyrinth is like oh light the uh light the what do you call it the torch so usually people do not like you know like, are, are, usually do not like get in there in darkness so that's why people never i'm guessing figured it out but yeah and uh okay and the <laughs> whole thing with you know the when they like got separated ang and the uh, katara <laughs> Damn, like, Ang Ang needs to brush up his social skills. I don't blame him. Obviously, he was he was being sealed in ice for like hundred years. Like, how, how is he going to know how to talk with uh, ladies? You know, I don't blame him. But yeah, <laughs> that was kind of uh, what can I say? Um, awkward. Yeah. <laughs> but you know, in the end, like I'm sure, like Katara also realized that. Yeah, this is just him. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy and i'm sure he she did not take it the wrong way <clears throat> and yeah like they had a little moment here but obviously um before you know i i, I don't think they kissed or something but most probably like you know when the light went off you know they're, they're going to kiss and then suddenly like it lit up and they were like oh there's a way and they went on their own way i'm guessing that's what basically happened who knows <clears throat> yeah and uh what else yeah they come out and uh, now all this time like you know like like we were under them not in, under the impression but it was like you know we can we can obviously see it with our own eyes that ang always had a thing for katara in a way and um now like you know seeing katara was also like blushing in the end kind of makes us feel like yeah like it's probably going to like you know like you know, like now she's also kind of getting conscious of him it's like just only one way <laughs> up until now but i'm guessing like you know she's kind of uh you know, what, what do you call that reciprocate i don't know that word what, what's it called reciprocating or something like you know giving it back uh, something like that i i cannot remember the word anyways <laughs> you know she's she's also kind of like you know giving like you know this like you know she's also getting conscious of him in a ways it's not like the one-way road now <laughs> but yeah like it'll, it'll obviously it'll, it'll, it'll take a little bit time guessing like you know they're, they're obviously going to uh, go around together and travel together and yeah like surely uh, like they'll have more character development and all 
and they're probably in, by the end of it they're going to realize <clears throat> but yeah that was this episode this was episode number two of oh uh, and in the end like uh, that was kind of shock not shocking but you know we got to know that so the fire nation attacked them <coughs> so they had the, the flag so i'm guessing they captured it as well like it's not that they were attacking them i'm guessing they also captured the whole city Damn, like, so now what they're going to do? Curious. Probably Aang is going to go in and fight. I'm not sure. But what, what will they even be able to do with three of them, you know? Like, who knows? Let's see. Let's wait for the next episode. So yeah, guys, that was it. That was my reaction to episode number two of After the Last Airbender, book number two. So if you guys enjoyed my reaction, be sure to press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed comment down below anything you want to say or anything you want to let me know i'll definitely check them out so yeah guys thank you guys for watching that was an amazing start to this season and i'm really looking forward to the upcoming episodes and yeah this is going to be great i'm really looking forward to it so see you guys in the next week with two more episodes of after the last airbender so until then goodbye and have a nice day